my people, we are doing the sixth Stardew Valley Kahoot. Who knows the most about Stardew Valley? I have almost a thousand people in here to try to answer just that. Anyone can enter. Let's see who comes out on top. This Kahoot was fact-checked by Blade. So thank you to Blade for doing that. If there are any mistakes, it's because Blade fact-checked them and told me to change it, and then I didn't. All right, it's entirely on me. As you can see, we have over a thousand people, almost a thousand people, <laughs> 934 people in here right now. First place gets a $100 Steam gift card, second place gets $50, third place gets 25, and fourth and fifth are both gonna get 10 bucks. And remember, you are never out of this competition until the very end, because these are hard questions. They are very, very hard. They're meant to trick you. All right, I'm starting the second we hit a thousand. Here we go, 991, 994, 991 again. All right, backwards progress. A thousand. Go, 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 go. All right, Stardew Knowledge Quiz number six. Three, two, one. Question number one of 20. True or false? The oyster can appear differently on the floor than it does in your inventory. Pretty easy question. What do you think? There's delay in the stream, but there is not delay on your uh, on your devices, all right? So if you just watch your device, it'll tell you the question. I got half of you at that. Wow. So this is not a trick question. This is actually real. And I, I do have picture evidence of this. Look at this. Look how weird this is. I didn't realize apparently all forage has a 50-50 chance of spawning mirrored on the ground. How weird is that? So like, I thought it was just the oyster, but it's actually all forage. So that is true. I tricked a little under half of you with that. Let's see who's in first place. Incredibly tight race from Boston. Alexis. Al Alexis? Yeah. Alexis dot dot dot. I see you Laos and, and Cameron. All right, here we go. Question number two. True or false? You can paint buildings from the wizard's podium. So this little thing in the wizard's house, it is possible to paint your buildings from here. What do you think? A couple true or false questions. It's a little uh, a little kind of me compared to the questions I'm normally asking. Does it not show the question outside the stream? We will we'll flip it. We'll flip it. All right, that one's false. We will, I'm gonna, I'll restart it then. Kahoot kind of stinks sometimes. You know what? We will restart that because that's a big deal. Let me, let me set it up again and make it better. I'm sorry, that's, that's a big deal. I just gotta, I gotta restart it. There it is. Okay, we're getting back in here. All right, we are back in action. We are back in action. Like nothing even changed before. I'm putting this back on. And look at that, we're back up. We're gonna have even more people than before too. Whoop. Oh, we're over a thousand. All right, after some technical difficulties, we're starting again. Let's get it. Boop, Kahoot at home. All right, here we go. Stardew knowledge quiz number six. Attempt number two, three, two, one. Which of the following does Pam not send in the mail? Is it the battery pack, the energy tonic, beer, or a poppy seed muffin? What do you think? Over a thousand answers are in here, and the answer is poppy seed muffin. Nice. A lot of you guys knew that. I knew that one too. I actually knew that one too. I knew that from the craft a jukebox percent category, where you have to get a battery pack from Pam in the mail for that. But yeah, 717 people got that correct. Probably one of the easier questions, honestly. So nice little warm me up. There's our top five. Let's move on to question number two. True or false? Stardew Valley has violated the NATO articles. True or false? False. You may know this if you've seen a video from a friend named Wallagug. Three, two, one. And that is false. Go ahead, chat. Say, say what you want to say. You guys all thought that this was true. Stardew Valley has not violated the NATO articles. They violated the Geneva Convention by displaying a red cross on Harvey's clinic. Man, nothing says thank you for 100,000 subscribers quite like tricking 700 people, right? It was the Geneva Convention. 378 of you were not fooled. There's our top five. Oh man, dude, I love doing Kahoot. Question number three, another true or false. There's so many of these. Oh, it's all right, it's this one again. True or false, the oyster can appear differently on the floor than it does in your inventory. Go ahead, get your redemptions. Get your redemptions going from the first time around. Look how fast everyone's hitting that this time. All right, that one's true. We already had that one before. There's our top five. All right, question number four. How many coins does it cost to play darts in the Pirate's Cove? Is it 100 coins? Is it 50? Is it 25? Or is it zero? What do you guys think? It is another trick question, baby. It is free. It is free to play darts. You can play darts as long as your little heart desires, as long as it's past 8 p.m. on a rainy night on the island. 240. 42 people got that right, but most people getting that wrong. Yeah, you'd think that would be something like 50 or 100 or something like that, but it's cheap, 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 cheap. Here's our top five. Ice your louse, Emily Ney, Rook Boat, 
Tryan and Dino rocking here in our top five. Let's continue with our next question. Question number five. Where does Robin sleep? Is she on the right side of the bed? Is she on the left side of the bed? Does it change or does she never sleep? Does she just start the day standing up and end the day? standing up. Where do you think? It is the right side of the bed. And now you may be thinking, Z, I would never know that. Nobody would ever know that. I knew that. If I had a dollar for every time I needed to set up a farm for a video or something, you go to the carpenter so often that you will warp to the carpenter shop, set the time to nine o'clock, and then you have to wait for Robin to walk all the way down from her bedroom. I have done that so many times that I always know that she is behind Demetrius because she, their bed's in the top right, she sleeps on the right side of the bed. It does not change. It does not change. Next. All right. That's a mean question. That was a really mean one. I will admit, but I wanted to ask it. All right. There's our top five. Let's move on to question number six. I'm losing a lot of friends here on this one. Which button does not make you jump in Junimo Kart? If you press C on the keyboard, X on the keyboard, left shift on the keyboard, or right click, which one does not make you jump? The answer is right click. How weird is that? How weird is that, dude? I realized that left shift makes you jump when I was doing Blades mod. That's that Junimo Kart practice mod when I was doing Junimo Kart, but you speed up all the time. I forgot what button I had to hit to skip to the next level and I clicked left shift and it worked, but right shift does not work. But C and X both do. How weird is that? They both work, but actually right clicking doesn't. That is so weird. <gasps> our entire top five, not getting that right, except for Emini Ney. And here's our new top five. Olg, Eritron, Icealaus, and Callie, there is plenty of time left, guys. Do not give up. There are so many questions left, and they're all so hard. You have a chance. Question number seven. Which of the following areas can grass not be placed? Is it at the summit, inside the mines, inside the sauna, or inside Pierre's? Which of the following areas can grass not be placed? It is inside the sauna. In that little watery area, even if you use the no clip mod to get in there without like being in a bathing suit and being in like that walking mode, it's the sauna. You can even place it inside the mines, like on level 87, if you want to. Place it anywhere, but not inside the sauna. Someone said these are impossible. Thank you. I appreciate. Next up, question number eight. Which of the following places can you not fill your watering can? Is it the sink in your kitchen, the sewer water, the pool water of the sauna, or or the witch's swamp water. Which of these places are you not able to refill your watering can? It is once again the sauna. Once again, I tested that out. You can fill it in from the sink, from the sewer water, which is actually disgusting. If you really think about that, I don't blame anyone that put the sewer water because that's gross. But yeah, you can fill it up in the sink in your kitchen. Yeah, you can. So yeah, that is, uh, that is the answer for that one. Someone said 900th. Oh no. Laura Cruz? I feel for you. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck making that comeback happen. All right. Very nice, dude. Our top five continues to hold on to that. There's PCG Matt. That's one of my mods and friends from real life. Here we go. Question number nine. What are the odds that you get a honk versus a squish when you start the game? You know, when you click on Concerned Ape's face and he goes, honk, or is it 70% honk, 30% squish, 30 honk, 70 squish, 50 honk, 50 squish, or 90 honk, 10 squish? What do you think? It's a straight 50-50. Doesn't it feel like there's more honk than squish? I know I asked people what they preferred and it was like 80 to 90% of people preferred the honk, but the actual chances of it happening is 50-50. Confirmed by Blade in the code, 50-50 honk squish. Do people know that? Blade did. Blade knew that. Unfortunately, I do think we're starting with a lot of the really hard ones. Question number 10, how many parsnip seeds do you start with on the wilderness farm? Do you start with 25? Do you start with zero? Do you start with 15 or do you start with five? What do you think? What do you think? See, someone in the chat said I'm learning a lot. That's an optimistic way to see this exercise. Yeah, it's 15. It's 15, 900 of you got it right, but let's take a second to think about the 65, 21, and 30 people that got it wrong. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, no, it's just 15. You just start with 15 again. There is no difference between the wilderness farm or anything else. So good stuff. Good stuff. I got a couple of you. There's, there's few people that I did trick are going to have to sit with that for a while. Question number 11. We're halfway through. What happens when you finish every Junimo Kart level in endless mode? Do you win? Do you get a bonus life? Do you get bonus points? Or do you speed up? What happens? I think this one's a little bit easier. I think that you guys should know this one. You do, in fact, speed up over half of the people here knowing that one. Yeah, it's uh, you loop and you go a little bit faster, which is kind of crazy. If you watch my Junimo Kart video, you will, uh, you'll you will see how fast you really can get. PCG Matt in first place now. Emni Ney in second. Olk in third. Jerko Bahoon and Rookboat also in our top five. Good stuff. We are over halfway done, but there is still plenty of opportunity to come back. Guys, if you have zero points right now, technically you can still win. You could get all of the remaining questions right and have more points. So good luck. Question number 12. Which pirate is not found in the Pirate's Cove? Be careful. Is it A, 
C, or D. That's why I say be careful because Kahoot randomizes the answers. Yeah, it's D, that that awful pirate that didn't look like any of the other ones. Yeah, I did that one myself. I found that one online. I didn't actually make that. It didn't look like any of the other ones, but <laughs> apparently it still tricks some people. So yeah, it is uh, it is pirate number D. See, here come people saying I misclicked. I'm telling you, Kahoot randomizes the answers. That's why I said be careful. So yeah, I think you probably could have got that even if you've never been to the Pirate's Cove because that pirate did not look like any of the other ones. Our top five shuffles around a little bit, but it's actually the same people. Let's move on. Question number 13. True or false? You can paint buildings from the wizard's podium. I accidentally leaked to this one earlier. Let's see if people were paying attention. True or false? Man, I was proud of this question too. What do you think? What do you think? It is false. A lot. I don't know what you guys uh, had the first time around before the mistake, but yeah, you can't do it. You guys cannot paint from the wizard's podium only from Robin's, which is interesting because I always use the wizard's podium to move my house stuff around because the wizard's podium is open like almost all day long where Robin is closed almost all the time. So yeah, but one day I went to go there to paint and I couldn't. So that's how I've learned that. Here's our top five. Stay in the same. You guys are rock solid. Question number 14. What is the highest score that anyone has achieved in Junimo Kart Endless Mode? This is as of a little bit ago. This is as of a little bit ago because it is now outdated. So good luck. It's 192,000. Is it 212,000? Is it 255k or is it 285k? What do you guys think? This is as of like December. This is the question that Blade's like, did you fix? And the answer was no. And then I forgot to fix. Oops, it's 285k. So even if you know that it's now higher than that, that's still the highest answer out of the four. So yeah, you, you're fine. You're fine. It's now 315k. There you go. Outdated, but it's still the highest answer of those four. My bad. Hey, I, I've said it every time we've done a Kahoot. If there isn't one mistake, is it a Kahoot? Is it even an unsurpassable Z Kahoot? Here's our top five. A couple new friends joining us. Krobus fan and Toaster. Welcome to the top five. We've got only a few left. Here we go. Question number 15. If you started a farm right now, what would the seed be? Would it be 35468712? Would it be 30617907076 or 24779080? Or would it be 299379507? If you start a farm right this second, what would the seed be? It'd be that. It'd, it'd be that one. So here's here's how I think that you might know this. All right. Again, you guys are saying, excuse me, what the heck? How do I do this? You know, it is always changing. So for those that don't know, first off, what the seed is, when you make a new farm, there is a number that is generated that is attached to your farm. That number is used in all sorts of like RNG stuff, like all sorts of randomness within Stardew Valley. All right. That seed is determined by how many seconds have passed since like some random arbitrary date in 2012, like whenever Stardew, whenever Eric made seed seeds pretty much. And so if you made a farm a year ago, then this number would be a lot lower, right? So my first farm with M was like down in the like 20, like 2-2 area here in that like 2 million something. And just as of recently, I noticed because I deal with so many farms, you guys roast me for having a ton of farms. I realized that we just recently crossed over the threshold where all farm seeds start with a three now instead of with a two. So if you were attentive and you've been making farms and you've been checking seeds recently, you would probably notice, hey, we just crossed over into the three range. That is how you would know that. Habu said this is just a guessing question, dude. Habu, out of all people, I would expect you to know that, man. I, I can confidently say I would have got that right because that's just something that I noticed. I was like, oh, hey, look, it's threes now. Stay mad. Stay mad, chat. We got a couple questions left. Question number 16. What is the exact name of this? Is that the Cursed Prairie King arcade system? Is it the CPK arcade system? Is it the Cursed PK arcade system? Or is it the Prairie King arcade system? This is the Cursed PK arcade system. I really thought more people would know this. It is an object that if you are ever in like the item spawner in Stardew Valley, right? For making videos like I do all the time, or we talk about this too in our streams. Like it has come up a lot. This machine is like an unfinished version of like a third arcade machine or maybe something else that like Eric was gonna do with the Prairie King system. It's called the Cursed PK Arcade System. And uh, yeah, because I, I knew this because for a long time, I didn't know what PK stood for. And then I eventually figured out Prairie King. So Cursed PK Arcade System is the correct answer. Only about, maybe a third of you getting that right. Very, very nice. We've got a slight shift in our top five. PCG Matt still holding up the front. Probus fan, Olk, Kristen, and Toaster here the whole time. You guys say that it's all luck, but here remain our five people that have been killing it since the beginning. Question number 17. What is the minimum score required to earn 500 star tokens? 
tokens in the slingshot minigame. So if you play the slingshot minigame at the fair, how many points do you need to earn in that minigame to be awarded 500 star tokens? Is it 400 points, 500 points, 300 points, or 250 points? What do you think? You only need 300 points. It is not the full 500. Whatever the equation is that you actually need, it works out to be 300 points. And so I didn't even know you could get 500 star tokens in the slingshot minigame until I saw Habu do it. And I was like, dude, how many points do you need for that thing? It's 300, 300 points. Blade said, I almost fact checked this question incorrectly because we forgot about integers getting uh, truncated, but that is the answer, 300. I don't think the wiki says that. I'm very proud that we're coming up with questions that are uh, not on the wiki. I don't want you guys to just be wiki nerds. I need you guys to be truly knowledgeable of Stardew Valley. Here we go. Question number 18, only a few left. Wild bait reduces the delay before a nibble by 50%, 37.5%, 62.5% or 25%. So wild bait does in fact make fish catch faster after you've initially cast your fishing rod. But by how much? It is 62.5%. If you put wild bait on your fishing rod, not only do you have a chance at catching two fish like everyone thinks about, you also just have a chance at catching fish more frequently. So it catches five divided by eight, 62.5% faster. Yeah, only 139 people getting that right. Holy crap, man. That might shift our top five around. Oh, dude, it, it's close. Anonymous has moved up. Habs, is that actually Habu? Habu, I want to see, is this you right here? Is this somebody else? Okay, Habu just said halves. So I don't I don't know what that means, but that's a maybe. That's a strong maybe that Habu is in fifth place right now. Only two questions left. Question number 19. Who is taller in pixels? Is it Pam, Vincent, or are they the same height? Who is taller? I counted the pixels. Somebody in the chat said this feels like a trick. Yeah, it's Pam. It's Pam, but by one pixel. By one pixel, Pam is taller than Vincent. How crazy is that, dude? How crazy is that? I thought Vincent always looked looked like disproportionate to the other people. He always looked like a giant man child to me. And Pam always looked like short and stout, but no, it's Pam by one pixel. <laughs> Come on, you guys gotta know that. You guys have to know that. Come on. Habu has moved into third place. And we've got one question left. This hasn't happened for a while in one of these cahoots where anyone here, I guess these top three, PCG, Matt, Anonymous, and Habs are all vying for first place right now. No one has run away with it yet. Let's see the final question. Question number 20. Which of the following requires a gold bar to craft? Is it the bone mill? Is it the worm bin? Is it the farm computer? Or is it the mini jukebox? I think this is an easier one. I think Matt's got this. Habu said GG's Matt should be free. Habu talking some trash. Wow, not a lot of people knew this. Not a lot of people know. It's the worm bin. It is the worm bin. If anyone watched Shawnee Do's recent video about how he fixed a bunch of different Stardew Valley items, all he does is complain that the worm bin requires a gold bar. Worm bin requires a gold bar and an iron bar and 50 fiber and 25 hardwood. That is why Sean was complaining about it. How wild is that? Let's see who came in first place. Here's our podium finishers. In third is PCG Matt. In second place is Habu. <gasps> but in first place, Habu and Anonymous. Wow. Kind of an anticlimactic name to read off. Also, Krobus fan and Eritron coming in our top five. Congratulations to you guys. Very, very nice finishes. Wow, that was crazy, dude. Over a thousand people. Over a thousand people in here and Habu comes in second. That is how you can't tell me. Dude, if you know this game well, you will do well. That's what I'm saying. Like, that is evidence that Habu consistently places in the top five in these and does well. I'm telling you, if you know this game, you have a chance to know these questions. That's all I got for you guys, though. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this is fun.